Okay, so I'm going to explain to you guys um, Adrian's nerve sensitivity educational piece that he utilizes. And so I have this graph dr um, drawn up here. We have increasing activity right here and time over here. All right. Now every nerve in your body has a little bit of electricity in it, and it buzzes along just like this. If you didn't have that, you'd be dead. You're not dead, so you are this way. Okay. And it takes a certain amount of stimulus for this nerve to fire and send a signal to the spinal cord and eventually the brain. So let's say we have some sort of stimulus apply right here, and it's enough to cross that threshold, and that happens. The nerve sends a signal to its desired location, okay? Let's say this is, I don't know, stubbing your toe or you stepping on a rusty nail, okay? Once that occurs and you sustain some sort of injury and that results in a pain experience, the nerves can get more sensitive, and so they start buzzing along at this height right here. So as you can see, you have only this amount of space in which uh, stimulus needs to be applied before you get the same thing that happened below here, okay? This is why activities that did not hurt or weren't sensitive before are sensitive now, okay? And so the ultimate goal with our therapeutic interventions then is to get this, this new um, resting nerve electricity down as close to possible as its original resting state.